What up, players? It's Wallboss Tail up in this mud doing another unboxing for you today. We are looking at the special edition, collector's edition, or event only, rather, Forge World Death Corps of Krieg Quartermaster. Event only because you could only get this by going to the 2013 Games Day events that Forge World was at. And I guess a lot of people bought them up and um, tried to, uh, or were selling it later. So, uh, one of the guys who was able to get a hold of these and was so nice enough to send it to me all the way across the United States, continental United States, out into the deep blue sea ocean to my little island here is the Houndmaster 14. He also sent me this little fella, an Empire Warrior Priest of Sigmar, which I painted up and am so grateful to him for. So uh, he also sent me this in the same uh, in the same package and I thought months later that uh, now is a good time to uh, unbox it and show you guys what it looks like if you haven't seen it yet. So it's a standard clamshell package. I cut it open and popped the pieces out, but clamshells, again, great for wet palettes for your painting. Just put a little piece of parchment paper underneath with some water and uh, there you go. Now the figure, unfortunately, when it came to me, uh, it was a pirate. Arr! He, somehow, for some reason, the left leg broke off. Uh, luckily, it was still in the pack, so I'll be popping that back on. It only comes in two pieces. The body, everything, arms, heads already attached, and two weapon options. A plasma pistol or a las pistol. So let's get in there nice and tight and take a look at the detail, shall we? Plasma pistol looks like a standard Imperial Guard plasma pistol. You've got the, the clip, the main part of the pistol there. And uh, you'll notice that the hand is just like Death Corps of Creed hands. It's got an armor plate on the back and a gloved, gloved hand on the fingers. The detail, really nice as you would expect it to be for the plasma pistol now we're looking at. And I don't see any mold lines. Beautiful. Now we're looking at the figure itself. Let's see how close we can get with this fella. Um, a lot of flash on the bottom of the cape, which is kind of normal or standard for such a detailed figure. On the bottom lining of things, you'll usually find the most flash, but easily cleaned away. And here I'll show you how. I just take a hobby knife and I use the back side of the hobby knife to scrape, gently scrape away any any mold, mold lines or flash, flashy bits. I do this for most mold lines now. Uh, I, when I first started in the hobby, I used to take the, the sharp end and just kind of, you know, scrape away like a Neanderthal. And what that does is it'll usually, more often than not, gouge into the figure. Ah. Such bad times. Now there has been some debate on the uh, on using anything to sand or shave down Forge World kits because the resin has been known to or is purported alleged to cause cancer. And there's people that say, well, it causes cancer if you breathe it in in industrial amounts and you use a um, like a machine sander that really breaks it down into fine grains and uh, you'd have to breathe it over a lifetime and there's other people that say beware because any kind of um, shaving like that is is dangerous and always wear a mask and stuff but uh, I'm kind of of the mindset that I'm I, I've, after doing some research I haven't found conclusively either way anything so I just make sure that I keep my my little trash can next to my area and whenever I work and I'm done with something, I just wipe away all the shavings and stuff. Uh, of course, for, for anything, you could say that for anything, any kind of plastic or, or metal even model that you sand the, the edges down, that you um, are in some kind of danger. So uh, that's a whole nother debate, I guess, right? But yeah, safety first, kids, as my high school health teacher told us on prom night, safety first. So now I'm taking a little hobby clippers and we're cutting whoop, right down along the line. Look how easily that came off. It's fantastic, it's fantastic. Look how easily, there's five easy payments. So looking for mold lines now in our quartermaster, you don't see any. And 
for those of you who don't know, the fluff of the Death Corps of Kree Quartermaster is that they do not have apothecaries. They do not believe in saving the people that are half that that are still still alive and only slightly wounded. And they believe that if you're even close to not being able to do your job anymore because of battlefield injuries, then the quartermaster comes around. He's got a bunch of servitors with him, and they will put you out of your misery and take all of your stuff and give it to the next trooper who is totally completely healthy. And um, rather than expending any medicine, time, and effort to save and rehabilitate you or help you to recuperate and recover. So if you look at the, the Forge World figures for the, for the Quartermaster and his retinue, you'll see that uh, he's got a bunch of servitors with him. He's got one guy that's holding a bunch of uniform pieces and equipment and a helmet and his job is just to hold it and walk around and, and distribute it and uh, there's there's this guy and he's actually looking down and he's pulling a pistol out like he's about to like he's looking at something and then it includes a wounded guardsman figure that is reaching up like please help me don't kill me and the quartermaster is saying oh I see that your equipment is still in operable order anyways so grimdark such grimness, so deathcore, wow. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take some super glue and I am going to, oops, glue this poor man's foot back on. And then I'm going to pop him onto a trench base. I've, uh, it comes with this cir circular base. I can't talk this morning. But most of my deathcore of Krieg, you'll notice, are in the trench works. And those bases you can either get from Dragon Forge conversion bits or from, what's the other one? I think Secret Weapon Miniatures also makes, and a bunch of different companies make trench work bases. So that's, I, I want this guy to match the rest of my Death Corps army. So I'm gonna do that. Pop him on, glue him on, and I think I'm gonna go with the last pistol, keep him nice and cheap. Uh, because with Death Corps, it's all about, you know, being frugal with your points so you can pack as much bodies onto the field as possible. And then I get a last pistol to add to my collection of last pistols for my Imperial Guard. Hooray! <laughs> That's right, players. It's me, Kamisha Bane. And I'm here with my new friend, Quartermaster Dane. Kick it! <laughs> Yo, it's Quartermaster Dane, and I'm here to say that if you are a Xenos, then you're going to pay. I put a bolt in your head faster than you can say chaos heretic scum. Take your time, Quartermaster. If you mess with the Imperium, then you are pretty dumb. So, everybody now get on your feet and pray to the Emperor because he's really neat. Sing along with the chorus or I'll take my foot and kick you in the little Horus. Word. That's right, players! I couldn't help it. I couldn't help myself. I had to do it. I couldn't help myself. It was right there and I had to. I'm so sorry. Everyone you see, every single picture you see has him holding his pistol like normal. So I thought I'd make a little gangsta Death Corps of Creed guy holding his pistol like that. And uh, with a really high voice. Hello! So uh, there he is, Quartermaster Dane. Gonna join the ranks of the rest of my guys. As you can see, I used Vallejo's plastic putty on the different uh, to to secure his feet to the resin base as well as uh, His leg man. It took so hot so long to get this leg piece connected to the foot piece It was so hard because the uh, Pieces the resin just didn't stick together even after I washed the whole model with soap and water It just wasn't sticking with regular super glue. So I uh, I did that 
Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the outtakes of our little rap sesh. And uh, thank you, the Clown Master 14. Go check out his channel. He's got uh, some great videos on his Space Marines chapter, Dark Angel successor, uh, the Silver Armored guys, Angels of. Oh, I can't remember off the top of my head. Vengeance, Absolution, Redemption, uh, <laughs> Absolution. <laughs> I do that to get my core ripped every morning. The Death Corps of Krieg, Absolution. Kick it. <laughs> Quartermaster Day need nothing to mess with. You'd better show the respect that I deserve or I will put a last bolt in your head and kill you like a zerg. What? That's right, you mooks. It's me, Kamisha Bane. And I've come back with a friend of mine, Kamisha Dane. Hit it. Commissar Dane is up in the house. You'd better give me mad props or I will shoot you in the head and take all of your things. That was a horrible rap, Commissar. Wait, I'm a Commissar. I'm a Commissar. No, I am. No, I am. We're all in this together. Hey, can anyone get in on this action? No, Lewis, get out of here. We're trying to film a rap video. Did somebody say video? I used to sing in the little crypt horror choir. Like this. Everybody just get out of here!